I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will summarize the properties of a rectangle for your ready reference. Here is a rectangle. Can you tell me properties of rectangle? It is a quadrilateral. That means what? That means that it has four sides. That means it has four sides, right? Since it is quadrilateral. Another thing which it means is that sum of interior angles is how much? 360 degrees. Sum of interior angles is 360 degrees. Now these are characteristics of any quadrilateral. Now what makes rectangle so special? We'll look into those. So first thing is that it has four sides but the opposite sides are equal. Do you see that? So it has two pair of equal sides. So we can write four sides opposite sides are equal. Right? Now we say sum of interior angles is 90 degrees. Uh, how much is each angle? Each angle in a rectangle is 90 degrees. Well, sum of interior angles is 360 degrees. That means 4 times 90, right? So, each angle, so there are 4 of them, is 90 degrees. So, we say 4 interior angles. So, I'd like you to, you know, understand different types of wordings okay so these are interior angles and each one of them is 90 degrees so when we draw like this it means 90 degrees now what do you notice about the opposite sides you see that they are parallel right so so the opposite sides are parallel we denote these arrows similar arrows for parallel sides so it's, we can say two set of parallel sides Right. Now, how many lines of symmetry it has? Lines of symmetry means if I draw a line horizontal, for example, like this, and fold it, it will overlap, right? So it has this line of symmetry. Even if I draw a vertical line and fold it, then it overlaps, right? So it has two lines of symmetry. How about its rotational symmetry? Rotational symmetry means that if I rotate it, let's say counterclockwise, about this point, then when will I get exactly the same rectangle? There are two angles, right? 180 degrees and 360 degrees, which will give you exactly the same rectangle, right? So we have rotational symmetry of 2. So we can say rotation symmetry is 2. Now, how about the diagonals? Do they intersect at 90 degrees? No, they don't. But they do they bisect each other? That is to say, if I draw diagonal, diagonal is connecting the opposite ends, let's say like this, and if I connect this end, then are these equal? Are these equal? Yes, they are, right? So, diagonals bisect. But do they bisect at 90 degrees? No. This is acute, that is obtuse. Do you see that? In a rectangle, they don't bisect at 90 degrees. In a square, they do. And that is the difference between square and rectangle, right? Of course, there are many other differences, but this is one of the major differences, right? Now, let's look into some formulas which we'll be using with rectangles. Let us say that the length is L and W is width of a rectangle. In that case, what is the area? 
area is length times width right so area is length times width and how about the perimeter perimeter is sum of sides right so it means opposite lengths will be equal opposite widths will be equal so there are two lengths and two widths so we can say twice length plus width so that is the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle i hope with this you learn a lot about rectangles now let's move on and learn about other quadrilaterals. Thank you.